Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to try to open up the die of this very large CPU, which is a Pentium Pro from Intel. The Pentium Pro is a 6th generation x86 architecture microprocessor, originally intended to replace the regular Pentium in a full range of applications, but later it was reduced to a more narrow role as a server and high-end desktop chip. It was introduced in November 1995 and the successors are the Xeon processors. This chip is the KB80521EX200 Pentium Pro running at 200 MHz. The S-Spec is SL22Z with a 512 KB second level cache. It is a rather large ceramic CPU and quite heavy I must say with a huge golden cap for improved heat dissipation. I have tried to open up the chip before, but failed in my first attempts. I searched the internet and also YouTube for hints, and finally got in touch with CPU Galaxy. There the recommendation was that it simply needs a lot of heat. Heat, heat, heat. So what I will try today is I will use my heat gun and I will try to remove this black part at the back, revealing hopefully the CPU die. Ok, let's start and I hope it's gonna work. Alright, so I prepared the CPU and I found a ceramic plate in order to protect the table beneath. I will use my heat gun from TechLife, which will now make quite some noise. I will set it to 650 degrees Celsius maximum. And yes, let us see how long it takes. Let's give it a try. I have to hold it here and, and try to see if something. Yeah, I think it's already loosened up a little bit, but it's quite tight. So there is some something is happening. But it's not there yet, so I have to continue. So I saw something becoming a bit liquid. Let's try now. Oh yes, there it is, yes, yes, almost there, almost there, and yes, wow, look at this, my god, everything is so hot now, let's take it off, ooh, it broke for some reason, but wow, yeah, that looks great, yeah, let's zoom in a little bit, see, oh my god, that's a beautiful one. Wow, I have to let it cool off a little bit before I can touch it. I think it must be, yeah, I used 650 degrees, so yeah, that made it. All right, so this is the result. Let's have a look at this beauty. I let it cool off for some minutes, of course. A very nice dual die. Look at the right side. This is the CPU, quite a large one. And on the left side, this is the second level cache. The Pentium Pro was produced in different versions, varying from 256 kilobyte to 512 kilobyte and even one megabyte second level cache. The latter version looks quite different as it is a black CPU. Unfortunately, I do not have the black Pentium Pro in my collection. 
Well, what I wanted to share with you is also, look at the right hand side. This is a regular Pentium, a Pentium 1 running at 133 MHz. It is a A80502, so this is already manufactured at 350 nanometers, as well as the Pentium Pro. So comparing the dice, you see the die is quite large of the Pentium Pro in comparison, produced at the same technology. And this has to do of course with the transistors used. The Pentium 1 has 3.3 million transistors and the Pentium Pro has 5.5 million transistors, only the CPU. Alright, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for my next video.